Alrighty. So, might as well get number generator up and running again. Alrighty. So, all the characters we have now, we're not going to add yet again because we don't want exactly the same. We allowed Ganondorf last time, but that's just because everybody else we've technically had right away anyways. Or everyone has already went like once, mostly, so that's why I allowed him. So anyways, next spot, we have 59. I'm not in my quick memos, which has the list. So 59... If it will scroll, please. 59. Robin's already Robin's already been in this last one. 61. Bowser Jr. Okay. Ooh. Where is he? There he is. Bowser Jr. Next up, we have number 14. I think that's... No, it would probably be one over Bowser. No, it's not. It's Peach. Okay. Not really a big fan of Peach, but whatever. Hope she loses. Anyways, next up we have 40. 40 is Lucas. Lucas hasn't won yet. He has made it to, a f to the finals before, so let's see if he can make it there and win this time. Third spot is number 67. Bayonetta. Alrighty, and then we have, for the fifth spot, number 21. 21 is Pichu. Ooh. Pichu also only made it to the first round as well. Like, never even made it past the first round anyways as well, so we'll see what happens next. And it was against Ness, too. Uh, 35, we have... Wario. Where's that Wario? There he is. Alrighty, in the seventh spot we have number six. That's Yoshi, who is already a champion, so. Nope. Uh, 22, that's actually Falco. Okay. We literally had him in the tenth tournament, so let's see how he does in this tournament. And finally, for the twelfth tournament, we'll have number five, which is Dark Samus. I already know that just by looking on the screen. Alrighty. Right, I should probably take a picture of this so I remember who's been in these tournaments. There we go. Alrighty. I'm gonna switch back to the live dashboard now. Yeah, I wonder too. I wonder how that would end up if Pikachu was the one fighting Dr. Mario. But for now, let's just do, um... And yeah, I sorry if you typed that earlier and I didn't read it. I was on number generator so I couldn't see the chat for a second. But anyways, this is the next setup for the 12th spot of the final tournament. So let's see how this one rolls. Alright, so not looking at the screen. And shuffle. Three... Two, one, stop. Alright, so our first match will be Dark Samus versus Bowser Jr. Then we'll have Falco versus uh, Lucas. Then we'll have Bayonetta versus Peach. And Pichu versus Wario. Alrighty, let's get this 12th tournament and the 12th spot of the 32 final tournament underway. Well, maybe. I don't know if Pichu can. I mean, he didn't do too well in the last tournament he was in. Pichu uh, got beaten up by Ness in, like, the first round, so I don't know. I mean, I guess the same thing did kind of happen with Pikachu, but he made it, like, to the semifinals. So who knows? Maybe Wario might be weaker. Anyways, let's get this tournament started. Anyways, um, let's go to the first match with Dark Samus and Bowser Jr. Both kind of evil and evil per people, I guess. So this is also an important battle for, or important tournament for Bowser Jr. to 
win because his dad, his dad Bowser, is already in the final tournament. So we'll have to see if Bowser Jr. can join him. Now let's see, he's doing pretty good so far. Bowser Jr. doing pretty good right now. Getting a lot of damage on Dark Samus right now. You gotta remember, he's definitely got a lot of those combos. There's Woody blowing some wind. Trying to blow him up with his clown car. Dark Samus is also close to his final smash. Ooh, Bowser Jr. now also rising for a percentage. Ooh, blowing up himself. Oh, and Dark Samus loses his final smash ability after being killed. Down to two stocks for him. Bowser Jr. still the three stocks and also getting close to final smash. Oh, Bowser Jr. now has it and is using it at the moment. And actually, I believe that saved him from losing his stock. And Dark Samus is now down to his final stock. It looks like this might be Bowser Jr.'s game. And here we are, back at a stage warp, going to Wii Fit area. We're going to do some Wii Fit today. Ooh, Dark Samus has his final smash ready. Ooh, unfortunately that shield was not enough. Bowser Jr. is now down to two stocks, but that still means he still has a whole stock advantage. So not looking good for Dark Samus, but anything could happen. We've seen that before. Anything could still happen. Watch the flow of my movement as I demonstrate. And like that, Bowser Jr. takes the first victory. And I think, in standard, I think uh, Dark Samus did work. Actually, no. He lost in the first round, I remember, to we, to me, Gunner, who was the champion already for uh, one of the tournaments already. So, uh, yeah, he, he didn't even make it again, unfortunately. So, sorry, Dark Samus. Hopefully, in another tournament, you'll have a chance. But, uh, Bowser Jr., you have a chance to join your daddy in the final uh, tournament, hopefully. Alrighty. Next up, we have Lucas versus Falco. I think Falco. I don't know if he's made it to the. I don't know if he's made it to the semifinals, or that's where he left off at the semifinals. But I definitely know Lucas. He's made it to the finals before. Let's see if he can make it again. Who was it that he was up against as well? I, I want to also check that out. I'm going to check that out real quick as this battle goes. Uh, let's see. It was Oh, it was against Meat Gunner as well, actually. So Dark Samus and Lucas are actually back in the same tournament. Actually, Bayonetta as well. Bayonetta is in this tournament as well, and she was in one of the previous tournaments with the same... Amount of people. So three people are in the same tournament again, who have seen each other in previous tur tournaments, are now in the same tournament again. And with that, Falco also loses his first stock. It's actually pretty funny though how three people are back in the same tournament together. I don't know how far Bayonetta made. Ooh, Lucas is now down to two stocks now. Yep, that is true. <laughs> that is true indeed. Looks like we've had a stage warp to Yoshi's Fully World. And Falco having his final smash ready. Oh, but not having a chance to use it as he goes down to one stock. 
Oh. Oh, and using that final smash. Still pretty easy to avoid, though. Ooh, unfortunately, did not save Lucas there. Now both down to their final stock. <laughs> I guess that's true, yeah. I don't know if they've all fought uh, Meet Gunner, though, in the during the tournament, but they have been in the same tournament before, so it's pretty interesting. Unfortunately, Dark Samus won't get its revenge. Oh. It's both pretty even so far. Oh, but Lucas takes it. Lucas is definitely not fooling around again. He's gonna make sure he makes it to the finals and wins this time for sure. So sorry, Falco. Um... You failed once again, but uh, don't feel too bad. I'm sure there'll be another tournament that you'll be able to enter. But for now, Lucas, you have a chance with the 12th spot of the 32 final tournament. Next up, we have Bayonetta and versus Peach. Girl on girl. A girly girl princess versus a woman with guns. I guess you can say. <laughs> Don't underestimate Peach though, I've seen her in action. She does have a good recoveries, and also some tricky moves to avoid sometimes too. Although a pretty bad final smash I have to say. And they duke it out in Luigi's Mansion. Breaking down the mansion. Right now, Peach looking like she's in the lead right now. Almost knocking off Bayonetta. Ooh, I thought it was lights out there for Bayonetta for a minute. The mansion almost destroyed. And Bayonetta now down to two stocks, but her final smash is right there. Oh, she may not get enough combos though. Nope, she hasn't gotten enough combos, so she couldn't exactly use her final smash properly. Now with Luigi's Mansion gone, they warp to a Pikmin stage. And Peach now has her final smash. If anything, she could just use it. There you go. Do it while you're being trapped in a pot. Uh oh. That's not good, especially especially because there's peaches out there and Bayonetta can grab them. Better grab those peaches fast. What are you doing? Grab the peach! Oh, and the peach is gone. This match is definitely going on for a while. It's definitely going to go to a timeout at this rate. This Peach is still with three, and Vienna is only at two. And we're already halfway through the match, too. Oh, watch out for the crab! Peach still surviving, th thanks to that platform, I presume. Oh, using time, but the time did not work. A minute left. Both now down to two stocks. Bayonetta will have to try to survive for at least uh, at least 47 seconds if she wants to win. Oh, but the stage warp screwed her. 
Now both with 0%. She'll have to land this final smash perfectly. Oh, it looks like she might. And she does. Peach still not dead and using her final smash now. There's only 20 seconds left. If Bayonetta does not knock off Peach in the next 15 seconds, Peach wins automatically thanks to the amount of stock she has left. 10 seconds left on the clock. Almost. Oh, and with that, Peach takes it with 2 to 1. How's it feel, Bayonetta, to be beaten by a princess? Huh? How, how, how does that feel? I don't know. But hopefully you'll have another chance in a future tournament. But for now, Peach, you have a chance for the 12th spot of the final tournament. Alrighty, let's see if Pichu can avenge Pikachu against Wario. Let's see how this goes. Someone who has appeared in Melee to one whose first appearance is in Brawl. Let's see how this does in Picto Chat. Let's not forget, Pichu also has a pretty bad advantage with um, using damage and damage in itself. So we'll see how this turns out. But still, anything could happen. Oh! Like that! Wario is already down to two stocks already. So Pichu is also... Oh, it's mostly because of those right there, I believe. Still, anything could happen. But Pichu does have a better chance of winning now. Pichu has that advantage now. Ooh, but not anymore, thanks to that uh, motorcycle ride. Going to a stage warp. Going to... Uh, oh, I thought it was going to be Saffron City for a minute. Don't even know what this stage is. It's definitely a city. I know that. Oh? And Wario already taking so much damage. Oh, Wario's almost to his final smash now. Not looking good for Pichu now. And there it is. Pichu down to one stock now. Wario having the advantage now. There's Pichu's final smash. Will Pichu use it now, or will he wait until he's down to one stock? Looks like Pichu waited. Oh, unfortunately, that failed. At least it didn't kill it like Pikachu did. Unfortunately, it's not looking good for Pichu as he fails. Unfortunately, Pichu did not succeed to help out Pikachu, and he did not make it even further into a tournament at all. So, I'm sorry, Pichu, but you did not make it. Hopefully, you have another chance in another tournament, but for now, Wario, you have another chance uh, for the 12th spot of the final tournament. Poor little Pichu. It looked like he had it right around the beginning, but nope. Alrighty. Now we have Bowser Jr. versus Lucas. Now, once again, this bat this whole tournament is actually important for both. Because Lucas was to the finals before, but failed as he was so close to make it to the final tournament. And Bowser Jr. just has to join his dad. So in this case, both both have a very important reasons to win this fight for sure, and this entire tournament. So let's see if we'll have that dream. If anything, this would be better if it was the final tournament or the final round. But hey, I don't I don't set the rules. I mean, I did set the rules, but I mean, I can't decide who wins. Yeah, that self-harm really does not help Pichu. Thing is, if Pichu also would have landed that final smash as well, 
Same with Pikachu. I think Pichu might have continued and actually made it. And now Bowser Jr. to two stocks. Bowser Jr. now using this Final Smash. This is also interesting. Both their Final Smashes, they could just use at random times. And they will both probably hit. And now both down to two stocks. Pretty even damage as well. Well, it was. Oh. Will they use the side to their advantage, especially in the stage warp? Now we go on to Mario Maker. Dun, 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 dun. Now Bowser Jr. down to one stock left. It looks like Lucas also has his final smash. And using it now. Oh, Bowser Jr. tried to avoid it as best as he could, but he couldn't. And with that, Lucas makes it to the finals where he was at last time. So sorry, Bowser Jr., you don't have a chance to join your dad, but maybe in another tournament. Maybe in another tournament. But, Lucas, you have another chance for the 12th spot of the final tournament. Oops. So, who will fight Lucas? Will it be Peach or Wario? We'll have to see in this fight. Now, even though it doesn't say it, but Wario is technically kind of from the Mario series as well. Or at least they've... At least Wario's been in the Mario series a lot, so... Both are pretty familiar with each other, for sure. Both at pretty even damage right now. Wario taking more of the hit now. Oh, thought Peach was finished there for a second. Ooh, and surprisingly, Peach takes the first death. Peach is now down to two stocks. Wario definitely trying to get some damage in before he loses his stocks. It looks like it might happen soon. Better watch out for those race cars. That's right, fight on the sidewalk. Don't get run over by a car. Oh. Oh, I thought Peach was about to fail there. And Peach, using that final smash now, uh-oh, this may be bad, this may be bad. And Wario loses his final smash and is down to two stocks now. And Peach also healing herself up now. And we go to Earthbound stage. Funny, because whoever wins this is going to fight Lucas, a player, or a character from Earthbound. Oh, and that fart, Pe it was too much for Peach and she got knocked out. So Wario, with a whole stock ahead, also with his final smash coming up. You have to be careful though, Wario's final smash, he needs to have Peach right in front of him. Uh-oh. Oh, and lands it, as well. Oh, somehow, oh, never mind. I thought Peach might have healed, but I just remembered she lost uh, life earlier. And with that, Wario beats Peach and makes it to the final round oh, for this tournament. So sorry Peach, it looks like you have failed once again, but don't feel bad. There are still other tournaments to enter, you'll have a chance. And Wario, you have a chance in the final round to make it to the 12th spot of the final tournament. I do not word well. So this is interesting. This is an interesting battle right here, for sure. Because not only 
that Lucas has to try again right at the finals again. But also, he's facing off against Wario, someone who's had history with. The person who turned Ness into a statue, turned him into a trophy. He'll like, get his revenge or revenge him now. We'll just have to see if he does. Wario, it's like, yeah, if I win, I win, yay. Trying to use that motorcycle, and Lucas getting the first hit on him. And now the stage rotates. That didn't help. <laughs> Motorcycle did not help him there. Both not knowing what to do. Their circuits don't know what they're doing. Uh-oh. Looking good for Lucas. Going to a stage warp. Going to another lava area. Surprisingly. It's all lava in this stage. Or in this fight, I mean. Almost to halfway now, and both have not lost their first stock. Oh, here comes some lava pool. Oh, and the lava waves have knocked out Wario, and also Wario knocked out Lucas. Wario Man's about to appear. A lot's happening all at once. It's too much, I can't commentate over this. So much is going on at one time. They're both pretty even with damage now. Oh, and this one. This one's kind of not unavoidable, especially if you do that. And Wario down to his final stock. Lucas is not playing games anymore. He's going all out to win. Oh. Wario's not playing no games either. Oh, missing that move. That could have been also game right there. Ooh. Both will have to knock out one of each other in order to win in the remaining 45 seconds that they have. If anything, Mario might just have to try to survive for the next 30 seconds. I think that might be his best bet. Oh, but it wasn't enough as Lucas beats Wario. So not only so not only that he won the finals this time, but he also beat Wario, who has been an ass to him the entire time. And so sorry Wario, maybe you'll have another chance in a future tournament. But for now. We have our 12th spot for the final tournament. Alrighty. So we have 12 spots already picked out for the final tournament now. We have Richter, Belmod, we have Kirby, Sonic, King K. Rule, Lucario, Yoshi, Ridley, Me Gunner, Bowser, Pac-Man, Dr. Mario, and Lucas. They have made their 12 spots, and we have, or, yeah, we only have 20 spots left in this tournament. 
the next four will definitely be the halfway point for sure. I think in the next stream I might actually do four uh, tournaments instead of three, but in this case, this time, I'm only going to do three for this one. So, yeah. We have some champions once again. With the remaining 20 spots, who will make it into those spots and make it to the final tournament? We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Um, I might do it maybe later tonight, maybe? Or I might do it tomorrow. Either one, I think, might be a good time. But for now, this stream will end. Um, if you want to see some of the other tournaments just as videos as themselves, um, I will be putting out videos for them. If you want to check out just the actual stream so you can figure out who's won who or how the battles turned out in some of the previous tournaments, then uh, if you go to my YouTube live playlist, it should be in there. And then, yeah. And I will be separating the tournament, um, like each tournament into their own videos as well and posted them. I did post uh, number two today. So, yeah, just for a little notice. But anyways, um, I also want to thank a boy for joining me today. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, unfortunately, um, our friends Pichu and Pikachu did not make the cut, so I'm sorry for that. But uh, uh, hey, if you come by maybe later tonight or maybe sometime tomorrow, maybe things will be different. Maybe they'll be added in again. And I'm also thinking of putting in a new rule. I think it's only going to be the ones from the last tournament I'm not going to add in. Like, I'm not going to go, like, oh, he's been in a couple tournaments, so I'm not going to add him. No. Like, um, I think I'll just add each of them in from there. Like, just not the ones from the last tournament, at least. Just so at least we get new ones at least every match, I guess. So, for now... Uh, thank you guys so much for coming by on the stream. Thank you, a boy, for coming by during the stream. And thank you guys who ever finds this on the YouTube live playlist. And, um, and to all those who are watching this as in the ninth tournament video, or the 12th tournament video, I'm sorry. Can't word right. And I will see you guys next stream and or video. Bye!